when we see this kind of integral, we would imagine the ideal situation to be x squared e to the negative x and to the third there. Now we can integrate that easily. In order to do that, we might want to push this over here because look, we have two other dy's. If we just you know, move that over there, then we'll be able to put two integrals, like two x's in there, and then we can, we can integrate this easily. Um, so let's try to imagine drawing this too, though, before we go too further. Um, we're going to want to say dz goes from 0 to 1. And then uh, we've got the dy's and the dx's over here. This one correlates to y, and this one correlates to x. So it gives us two lines, y equals z, y equals x. The y equals x line is more like this, the y equals z line is more like this. In the x situation, we have um, from the line to 1, so that would be, here's the 1, from the line to 1, it can intersect right around here, it's going to be this portion. And then um, over here, we've got this line. We can actually drag this line to the other side over here. And we'll redraw it right here. It's not exactly perfect, but the idea is that we have this new line here. It will intersect with the top here. And then that should give us a nice little 3D shape all across this whole region. And we can imagine even a smaller triangle inside of there as this slides upwards this direction. Here's one. This one is the line y equals z. As you can see, y equals z would be like over here. And we'll just drag that along into the x direction. So that will give us the line kind of again over there. And then we have the line y equals x over here. So let's set up this integral kind of like this. We have the same thing here, and let's see what dy and dz might be doing with the dx on the outside. So we'll start there from zero to one, because we know those are always supposed to be just regular old constants, numbers. And over here, we'll get these two, dy and dz. So that would be Might be better to look at this a different way. I can maybe try to draw z there and the y there. And this would be the ultimate triangle. And this would be one of the smaller ones. Because those are going to just get bigger and bigger as we go from here to there. So I'm really interested in what's going on in there. Let me try to integrate put the y's on the outside, it might be a little bit easier. So the dz will go on the inside and the dy will go there. It's because I know I could just go from uh, from here to there is what I really care about. So whatever that point is, this one, the line y equals x comes to mind. Um, So why don't we go ahead and use that one, 0 to x, because I can't really use the top one. I mean, I could, you could say it's going also to this line, right? Because that's kind of what the, but the problem is, it's because we have both. The problem is that this one, I can't put it on the outside because then like, the dz is on the inside. So we have to integrate, we have to choose between either the z or the x and since the z is on the inside, we have to use the x. Otherwise, we couldn't do that. So, um, we'll now head to the z's. And in order to get the z's, we just kind of want to see where does it go to. It goes to this line. And that line is this one. So z equals y. I, I guess that's what we're plugging in right there. All right. So now let's go ahead and solve this. should be really easy. When we integrate over to z's, we just stick the z in there. And then we're going from 0 to y, so it'll just transform itself into a y. And then we integrate over the dy, so we go 0 to x over dy. And 
In order to do that, we're going to y squared over 2, e to negative x to the third. This is going from 0 to x. So this will basically just transform into x squared over 2, e to the negative x to the third. This is what we now take from 0 to 1 in the dx. And this is an easy integral because, um, well, uh, we have the derivative. So all we have to do is x squared over 2. Here's the e to the negative x to the third. And we want to divide this by negative 3x squared. And then so we'll be getting a negative 1 over 6 e to the negative x to the third, which is kind of a complicated way of writing negative 1 over 6e to the x third. So we'll just bring that from 0 to 1, which will be 1 over 6 e, and then plus 1 over 6. So that could be just rewritten as 1 over 6 minus 1 over 6e. All right, not too bad.